Craft it, SM with Sergeant Slack. Good evening, Interworld. Sergeant Slack here from Banana Bomb Productions, uh, welcoming you to this, the first episode of Crafted SMP. So this is a multiplayer server, a private server over in the States that I've been invited to join by one of my friends at the RPM Network. His name is Temptation Gaming HD here on YouTube. I'll put links in the description and maybe on the screen right now. So he's invited me to join this server. This is the spawn behind me. You can see the nether portal there. And <clears throat> that gives you connection towards to all the things. But I need to find an area for myself and I need to find, uh, build a house. So I thought I'd do sort of like progression style updates so you can join me in bits of this. I've just punched a tree down because uh, that's how you always start. But we'll, we'll go and punch another down because we need to do it. And thankfully it spawned. There was a bit of a farm. So what should you do when you're starting a new world? Because this is a survival server. That was very slurry. This is a survival server. So you need to get out there and play as you would survival time. Now, I first joined at night and had a bit of a poke around the nether and those kind of things. And uh, yeah, this is my first experience on this server. So I'm going to punch a tree down. I'm going to make uh, some wood out of that. Uh, some of that will then turn into sticks. And we will, of course, have a crafty bench. So these are the first things you should do in all of them. We, uh, we should replant as well because that's always good. There is a tiny bit of lag. You can see, yeah, Temptation Gaming is on. And, uh, oh, no. It doesn't seem too bad. So first things first, all you need to do is make a wooden pick don't make any other wooden tools because there's just no need oh, i would say this is running uh, the new snapshot as well so this is 13 w u uh, 13 w o one b i'm being stalked ah there he is our gracious host temptation gaming Say hi to everyone. <clears throat> so uh, this is Temptation Gaming uh, HD. His name is here on, on YouTube, but obviously in Minecraft it's ever slightly different. He's invited me to this server and yeah, I think he's maybe going to show me around now. So I'll, I'll sign off and uh, we'll do a little bit of that and we'll come back to it. So what I was saying is all you need to do is make a wooden pick. You don't make any other wooden tools, just make a wooden pick and now I will carry on. So once you've made your wooden pick, you have to mine through some dirt with the wooden pick, which granted is not exactly brilliant, but you don't need to make oh, iron already. That's good, but also slightly annoying. <laughs> So there we go, get down to stone level with your wooden pick and then craft yourself up some stone tools. So don't bother making wooden shovels, wooden swords, they're going to get replaced so quickly. And although you can use them as fuel, Inferni, which is of course the plural of furnaces, uh, there isn't much point for it. Get down to rock, Get yourself some rock mined up, a good stack of cobblestone, not a whole stack, you don't need 64, that's mental. But if you can get enough for an oven, I generally just use the whole pick, because you're not really going to need the wooden pick ever again after this. Get a stack of that up together, and then get back to your crafty bench, because you could do all of this within the first part of the day. Get back to your crafty bench. Throw that away and pick it up again in a second because that's how it works in Minecraft. <laughs> We've got the pick, uh, got shovel, oh no, shovel, which goes there, and then we can have a sword, and then we will have an axe as well. So that gives us a really quick, good start. Axe lives there. A really quick good start to your Minecraft game. You've already set up, you've got enough tools to be getting on with and starting to do a few more things. You have unfortunately just dug a big hole in the floor. So I could really do with some torches to patch that. Always replant, always replant trees because you never know when you might need them. 
and have a bit of sugarcane action as well, because thankfully these guys have already done that. So, uh, what? I'm going to fill up a bit of this. Oh, now, now I've got that, I can get this iron out. That's a good thing. So, we'll take that iron with us. And then, well, the problem is, is we've left a big zombie hole in the map where zombies are going to spawn at uh, spawn and that's not a very good thing to do so if you fill it in up to half blocks then they can't spawn in there it does mean we've kind of swiss cheese things a bit but it's fine fill that back up oh that needs one in there and oh, let's just skim a bit of sand off Make it look natural, but we'll skim a bit of sand off. Oh, this sand doesn't place right though, does it? Look, this sand wants to be taken off. It, it told me it was having no fun where it was. So, sand you up. Plop. Plop. Come on, server lag. Oh no, that isn't server lag, that's slack lag. There we go. That's fine. That's a wonderful world. And we're now set up, ready to face our first night. So I'm actually going to sign off and go and talk to Temptation. And whoa, 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 floor creeper. Don't, don't blow up the nether portal. That will not win me any friends. Did he just go through the nether portal? Or did I kill him? Um... I'll report back with how that goes. Uh, I'm ready to survive the first night. I've got a bit of food, thankfully, because I collected some wheat from one of the other people's farms here at spawn. That is the advantage of sticking a few... Oh, dear. No, oh, gonna die. Run away. Let's go to the nether hub, then. <laughs> Run away. And hopefully there isn't a creeper waiting for us here in the nether hub. No, there is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that that's unfortunate and that sucks well there you are people death number one it was actually death number two because I got boned by a creeper <laughs> so let's go back and hopefully we won't have done too much damage to what's going on in here <laughs> it would altogether not be terribly the greatest most auspicious start. So, this is the nether hub as it stands. And this is, oh dear. Oh dear, yes, we have done quite a bit of damage. Uh, I'll be back in a second and we'll fix that. Yes. Good. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so we are back. Uh, this is the nether hub. The portal I went through up on the, s the surface before that I accidentally knocked the portal through is this portal here. Uh, I've repaired everything as best I can. Firstly, apologies to the other people on the server, especially unknown and unknown. When I first came down here to check it out, there were a couple of chests with some stuff in from temp to some other people whose names I didn't remember. Uh, inside, things were nicely designed like this. I've kind of tried to get it back to how it was. Uh, I think they were the right way. I don't know. I'm really sorry. <laughs> but basically down here, you've got uh, different tunnels and then there's another portal down the tunnel which takes you back to the people's uh, domains uh, to their areas. So I will eventually have one of these once I have a house sorted. In the meantime, I'm going to go and have a bit of an explore, uh, see if I can't find somewhere to uh, build build a house, have a bit of an explore around, uh, get a base going on, and see what we can't do. So uh, sorry about that, crafted SMPs. Uh, I'll rejoin you guys in a bit. Okay, so we're back out in the world. The first things you want to be collecting are seeds. Thankfully, because the farms are spawn, I don't need to run around hammering the grass too much. Next up is going to be sheep, because I'm going to need a bed, because I don't want to have to stay up through the night if I'm on my own on here. So two wool could do with another sheep. 
and it is becoming night time. There we go. Another sheep. Good. Got my fill of wool. I managed to not. I managed to pick up a bit of a netherrack in the uh, incident that happened in the nether hub, which we won't speak of or put on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to have a wander around. Oh, I don't really fancy living somewhere snowy. I think I want something um, minesy. Uh, minesy? No. I want something biome, uh, plains biomey. I think, is what I want. So I'm going to have a bit of a wander around and see what I can't see. And see if I can survive the night. Uh, interestingly enough, if you are in this position where it's coming close to night time... Uh, do the good old traditional dig yourself into a hole of Minecraft. So we'll make a tiny little base here to go through how you should survive. So get downstairs. Get that's not what should be in that position on my bars. Get some dirt in the hole so you're not going to get jumped. Get your crafty bench down. Get that going. We're using your cobblestone, which you collected earlier, which you collected plenty of. This is why you collect plenty of it straight off. Make yourself a furnace. So get the furnace down next to the crafty bench. Uh, wood. Need to burn up some wood. Oh, I need real wood, don't I? Yeah, I need real wood. I need real wood to make charcoal. So I'm going to go nip upstairs for a second. Hope I don't get killed. The brief second while I come up here and chop a tree down. Like almost so. Almost like so. Gotta get that top of the wood. It's just gonna annoy me. Oh, it's really gonna annoy me. Whoa! Get the friggin' oh. oh well there we go. I dug dug myself a little hole there with a creeper's oar. All just because I can't leave well enough alone and not take that top block out. But you've got to do it. Whoa, you can just be gone. Oh, well, yeah, you've done that. You've done that now. That's very good. But now I'm dying through lack of food. Quick, get get in the hole. No. No, I have no idea where I am as well. Bread, come on. Give me a piece of bread. Yeah. So, it would appear I can't die from starvation, which was one of my other thoughts. What, what did I do with my bread? I'm sure I just made bread and then deleted it somehow. So, I brought some wheat with me so I could make bread when I was in a tight spot. And have a bit of an eat. Get the old health back on the up and up. And that's all good. And then what we want to do is... Uh, let's keep some of that wood. But... Pop your wood in there, burn it with the planks, and you will have some light, first of all, which is good. I've already got sticks, so I don't need to make any. But then, if you burn the, the pure wood, not the planks, so the, the actual wood itself, you'll make charcoal. Come on, give me that other piece. And then from charcoal, you only need a couple. From two, you get eight torches. Boom. So then, you can have torches. Oh, they've updated that in this snapshot. Oh, that's annoying. I can't put them on top of things anymore. Oh, that was one of my tricks, man. So there you go. This is how you survive your first night. And then you go on and have a bit of a mine downstairs to take up the time. So I'll come back to you if I find anything interesting. Okay, so I had a bit of a mine down there in my house, and then I thought I'd come back upstairs and look, look at the devastation from the creepers. Do you remember when I dug into the hillside there and back and down, and now it's all ground level and just creeper city. So annoying. So I didn't find anything terribly fun in my mine. I smelted up my iron during the night using my... Oh, here we go again. Using my charcoal and... I was going to block it up, but considering, I mean, look at the state of this place. I'm just going to take my torches with me and wall it in. The creepers could spawn in there. They seem to love it. I mean, look at that. It's like four creepers worth of damage. So I'm off to find my home. 
So I've lucked out here. I emerged from the spruce biome with its all of its wintry sadness, and I found a nice plains biome that's got chickens in it, which I'm going to murder and eat later. But it's also got a jungle biome right next to it. So this is particularly good because one thing I like to do when I'm exploring on this kind of thing is make sure you've got everything you can. So what I'm talking about here is things like I just came through the spruce biome. I've got a few spruce saplings so I can because I like to have all the woods and use all the woods in my builds. So if you can grab a couple of them when you're up and when you're out exploring in the first place, then you've got enough. You've got enough going on that you, you don't need to wander too far from home. You can get your bone meal going and then you've got plenty of good saplings to use. So I've also looked out in the, I think there's some oak trees over there, so I'll have two of them on the go once I've dug, whoa, a bit of serverage lag there. Uh, once I've done a bit of harvesting, I'll have plenty of wood to be going out. And cocoa, cocoa beans. Yeah, have that straight off. Uh, maybe, come on, think about it. Oh, lag. Okay, I'll be back when the lag stops. Okay, so we are back. I have acquired all the saplings I need from this area, and it got night time while I was ripping down a tree, so I thought I'd come down here and have a little explore down. Ah, yes, because this is good. I definitely need coal. So, oh, XP, I forgot about that. So, that's a good find. It's always good to have some coal. And now I don't need to worry about having loads of tree to burn. But like, good thing about jungle biome is I just ripped down one of those giant jungle trees. And I've got like two stacks of jungle wood. So I could have made a bunch of charcoal if I needed to. Ooh, I hear a zomb. So I'm fairly well set up now. I've got everything I need to be surviving in the meantime. And a few things that I need for future and it's just a case of finding somewhere nice to live now so I'm gonna go and ask the others where a good spot might be and then I might actually end up just living around here have I just found someone's house no I've just found a big underground pool of lava that's all good uh, I would take the lava with me but I think I'm gonna have plenty to survive look at this Uber creep zores. Yeah, take your mate out. Yeah, come on then. Take that. Find creepers with no armor. Oh. I shouldn't take any damage from you on this though. I do. When did they change that? When did they change that? And the sun's coming up. So between you guys, you actually do do a fair amount of damage, don't you? I should probably eat that bread before engaging this creeper, but whatever. Did I kill him? Did he go through me? What? What's going on? So, creeperage. Oh, there's a village. I wonder if someone's living near the villages. Oh, there's a village over here as well. Let's go check that out then. Because it would be kind of nice to live near some villages, I think. Or at least have them within dragging distance see what they've got. Oh, they've got farms. Hello. Hello, villagers. You all seem to be quite well. 19 wheat for an emerald. That's not a bad deal. Let me just go and collect 19 wheat from one of your farms. <sighs> oh, yeah, you've got the churchy type structures in the villagers' houses now. It's all good. This is quite a nice area, actually. I might have to make my home around here. Ah. Let's just have some of your wheat, please. Seeds. I'll replant. I'll replant. Don't worry. Have I got 19 yet? 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There we go. I've actually got, I think, 18. Oh, and carrots. Go on, give me the carrot. Am I all out of stuff? Like carrots, then? Ah. I'm all full of gubbins. What don't I need? I really need two stacks of that. Spider Eye. Spider Eye, I don't need you. I'd rather have carrots, my friend. Oh, look at all the carrots. I'm replanting with wheat. What a gift. So, the whole point in doing this was so that I could get 18, 19 wheat up together. Nope. Wrong house. Where have they got to then? They were in this one over here, weren't they? What do you got to offer? Shears. Leather hat. Can't believe you're all still alive. Wool for an emerald. That's pretty damn good. You. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That was pretty, pretty gosh darn easy. So can I do that again? And throw some wheat on the floor. Where's he got to? I've got an emerald. I'm pretty sure that's like the first emerald I've ever got in Minecraft. And it's from this man here. Thank you. Brave Sir Knight. Real urge to just murder him down to bits now. Egg. Oh, I'm already full of stuff. I need someone to live already. Uh, flowers. I don't really need flowers. Anyway, enough of this. Thank you, villager man, for my first emerald. And I will see you guys in a bit. Murder chicken. Yeah. Didn't do anything. You ain't seen nothing, right? So here we have it, guys. The site of my house on the Crafted SMP server. Over there, we've got a bit of a plains biome, which is where I eventually want to be live -ing, living. Behind me, we've got a spruce biome and the snow, which is where I'm going to build my first house here with the ice path. Over there in the distance, there's a village. Over there, there's another village. And then there's a jungle biome on the edge before there. But here it seems to have... Hello, Mr. Chicken. Do you want to live with me? Good. Well, you actually can. I will allow it. So I thought this would be quite a good place to start off. Lots of resources around. And uh, I'll come back when I've got a bit more of a house built. And so my house is born. A wolf! A wolf! Give me the bone, give me the bone. Right. I'm going to tame you with this one bone, okay? Okay? And you're going to be my friend. No, no, come back, come back, come back. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, see, you're in my house already. Be tamed! Did that work? Did that actually work? Come here. Right, I'll run away. Come on. Come on, pooch. Oh, no way it did actually work. I've got a pooch. That's good. All right, Poochie, come and, come and sit over here with my friend the chicken. Good. I shall call you Byron. Uh, so I've got my house kind of on the build here. I'm staying away from the ice with the torches because I don't want to make my path over to the lands where I'm actually going to be living in the end. So I'm just kind of securing things around, building me up a house. So to make your house quite secure, what you can do is take down trees within a certain radius. I mean, you don't need to go miles and miles away and take all the trees in the area down but the ones in your immediacy you don't want to have them there spiders can live under them they offer shelter during the day and it's all just annoying so i'm building up my house maybe just in time as we get there but it's also giving me plenty of wood to get on with this oh that that's annoying to get on with this design yeah parkour yeah there we go. So that's what my house looks like at the moment. Um, uh, the last little safety security feature I've got is two of the... Oh, no, don't put that there. That's stupid. Two of these pressure plates. Wooden pressure plates in behind my doors. So this means that if I go out, if I go out to like get Poochie here and go... Oh, sorry, Pooch. I didn't mean to... I meant to um, right-click on you so you'd come with me. So if I, um, I want to go in... And I left the door open, as my pooch demonstrated there. Thank you for that, Byron. I walk inside my house. I forget to shut the door. Boom. Shuts for me. 
covering on chicken stand on it. I need some stone pressure plates. Chicken, stop ruining. Stop, stop being mean to Byron. Right, that does it. You can't stay if you're going to be mean to Byron. Go over there. And there we go. There you go, Byron. Eat that. Yeah, that's how we deal with imposing chickens here. So there we go. Nice little safety security feature. You can go out easily. And then when you come back in... Door shuts behind you. You can't possibly leave it open and get murdered by creepers. Uh, I'll be back. Where did you come from? Be good. Don't pick on Byron or I'll murder you and feed him to him. Alright? Yeah. Good. I'll be back in a bit. So, I've got a bit of a house built. Uh, give you guys a quick tour. Inside, there are beds, furnaces, and a bit of storage, and no roof. And only half the top level is finished. Uh, out here, I've got a farm. This is going to be for potatoes. Uh, this is carrots currently, and this is going to be wheat across the back. Just a little one to get me started. And I'm now in the position where I want to be starting a mine off. So I've decided I don't want to have it right next to my house. So I'm actually going to come back over here, do a bit of a dig down, and... Well, to start mine off, really. Get that all sorted. I'll come back to you guys when I'm at the stage of doing an underground base. Oh, look at that. I was just doing a bit of a dig down. You can see how far I've come. I've got a, half a stack of coal. And look at that. There's a friggin' abandoned mine shaft already. Oh, oh no, we've got another one. So that is definitely good news. So we'll go down there, I'll put a torch there so I don't fall in, and we'll see what we've got, because this is going to provide a lot of materials that I actually will need on this server, like like uh, tracks and things, which is always good. Oh, and I've got a bit of a base on the go already, so where can I secure up to? Secure up to here. Makes that secure. Similarly, I could do that. Some rail track already. That's wicked. Take this down. build in with cobblestone. I like using cobblestone because it stands out in the landscape as being something different for you to follow. And we'll cobble that in. I've got iron as well. So that's awesome. I've got a nice little base to start off with and it doesn't mean I can go back this way I think and create an actual mine. Oh, that is secure down there anyway. That's cool. That's good. So, I'm going to get a few more materials and then uh, get back to it. Ooh, level 10. So, there we have it, guys. The first episode of Crafted SMP. I have a little bit of a house going on, although it's still got no roof. I have a little bit of a farm. I have a little bit of a mine. I have a little bit of a creeper hiding in the woods over there. So, this is going to be sort of fortnightly to begin with while I'm getting set up. There's going to be a lot of playing and not a lot of interesting stuff. I've got to do all my mining. I've got to do all my building and things. But that's how it looks. That's how I look. Uh, so, this is Sergeant Slack from Banana One Production saying thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, comment, like, subscribe if you did, and I will catch you next time. Ta-ra!